All right, now it looks like we are streaming. Okay. We are? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I haven't looked. I like to just assume. And then sometimes, like, I've done streams where I talk for, like, three hours, and it's to nobody, because I just never check. Really? I mean... That must be a nice little vibe. You're just, like, out in space somewhere. It's a better story if I say yes. And that's what really we're about here, folks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we're up. We're up. Starman1987 says yay. And you know what? I agree. It's a yay kind of season, folks. We get to take over the Geekly Inc. channel hey. tonight. That's pretty ill. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's, what a change. let's be very clear that when you say it's a yay kind of evening, we are not making a Kanye reference. No, just cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, God. And... I just like moved a window up there and it blocked out our video again. Um, Great. That's, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. At the end of the day, like, what are we trying to, are we trying to make money doing this? No, get out of here. No, it's true. It's true. We don't do that shit here. We don't make no money. Oh my God. We got an audience. We should probably kill some time so you can figure out this screen problem. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to tell us, tell, tell them who we are, what we're doing? I mean, yeah, absolutely. You know. Absolutely. In, in as much detail as I possibly can. So, <laughs> Too much detail. We, Oh my god, yes. So we are Game Crimes, Mike and I. I'm June. He's Mike. If you don't know Mike Bakken, what are you doing on the Geekly Inc. channel, you poorly informed person? <laughs> we do Game Crimes, which is a podcast and a stream. And Game Crimes is about studying the more gray markets of the video game industry. So bootlegging and emulation, and as of tonight, unreleased games. So unreleased games um, do kind of trickle their way out of game companies. And the two that we have tonight are two very, very interesting examples. We're struggling to get Primal Rage 2 up and running. Oh, I'm so close. But come on, Mike, let's do it, baby. Um, this is an unreleased game that had a location test in the Chicago area, and even though it's about 80 to 90 percent done, it was cancelled. So, it eventually made its way out into the wilderness. Somebody hacked together a couple of location test uh, cabinets, and there's now one copy known in the world. It's in Rosemont, Illinois, at the Galloping Ghost Arcade. This game for a very long time has been impossible to emulate because it has some very complicated forms of copy protection. And in fact, we have to run an extremely hacked version of MAME to even get this popping off properly. Although the emulation isn't going to be 100%, I don't think. There's still some audio hiccups and stuff like that. Oh, there we How's go. It going over we got there? it on stream. I have not actually shared it with you. Um, that's probably a good thing for me to switch. It's, if it's, you want it'll, to. It'll take just a second. I'm feeling confident now because things have been working. Um, let's see. That was your folly, my friend. Yeah, I know. We're going to fuck this up. Technical technical difficulties are the third member of our podcast. And of the stream. They show up every time. Okay, you'll be able to see. You won't get audio. That's fine by me. Can the stream see? It's still on Aquario. No, no, they oh, can no. now. We're good. We're good. Yep. Whenever I minimize it, it, it goes transparent. Oh, sweet. Okay. So I've got the screen up on my run. We're good to go. Um, D Martin G, howdy. What's up? Nice to see you. It's early morning. Early morning. It's still the early evening. Oh, but... Let me get my chat. Okay. Then we can it's play. Still... <laughs> it's still fe like, it feels like we're getting away with something by doing it this at 830, Mike. Like, I'm going to go to bed like a reasonable human being. and. Oh, no. We're still ending at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, we're just doing we're doing a four hour we're playing primal rage 2 for four hours i mean yeah my mom said i could stay up late <laughs> well i also called your mom and she said that we need good sleep oh so you know you have to resolve that fight in your brain <laughs> we have uh someone asking us starman 1987 is there going to be a scream stream on the game crimes channel afterward Probably not. I don't think I have the stamina for it. No, I don't um, think so. It depends but on how we I'm feeling afterwards. If I'm like, I, I just want to stay on and keep playing Zelda or something. Something fucked up. But we can do that. I mean, you don't, no, you don't I, have to. I'm just saying. <laughs> and if we get the... 
if we get the VOD, then um, I'll post that on the Game Crimes YouTube channel as well. Beautiful. Oh, I started. I, I am. I got uh, a character selected. You're Sinjin. So one thing you might notice immediately is that there's no dinosaurs in this one. Uh huh. It's part of the story slash plot of the game. <laughs> like, um, Mike, how much do you know about Primal Rage lore? Uh, very little. Okay. Because there is a lot of lore for a game that's about an ape peeing on stuff. Um, the the dinosaurs in Primal Rage are actually gods. They're not just like dinosaurs. They're they're gods on Earth who are worshipped. And the premise of this game is that each of the gods chose a human avatar, and you know, like inhibits them as a spirit. What that means is that you can transform into the, the dinosaurs mid-match. Oh, how do I do something the, like that? So you've got a full meter, right? Uh-huh. Uh, mash all four face buttons gotcha. when you have an opportunity. It basically comes out like a custom combo. There are no, like, supers in this game. The the morphs serve as the super. It looks like there's fatalities of some sort. There are. And suicides. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So you can either kill them or yourself, for some reason. Hi there, Eve. Hi. Wow, a lot of people. Jaime, uh, Moltar Ben, nice to see you. Callan, nice to see you. Four or five wits, as always. Dragon one two three TT is calling you out and saying the latest game crime is Bachman not opening Pokemon Go gifts. <laughs> you can call that, friend. Wait. So you say all four buttons, like. Like, four, all four face buttons mashed together at once. Oh, but there's six. Yeah, oh, uh, there's four face buttons and then... Oh, wait, you're, unless you're doing a Jenny controller or something. No, I'm not. All right, so, like, you do have two strongs, and you can mash those together to try to get a different dino morph. But it's basically, like, just a combination of normal button presses to do the transform. Sendernath, hey, what's up? Nice to see you. Yeah, so this is 4 or 5 wits mo mark that this is very strange, and I would agree this is not, I think, what most people would expect from Primal Rage. Um, Mike, how's it feel, though? Uh, it feels alright. It feels like a, like a more responsive Clay Fighters. <laughs> now, how would you feel if I told you I could look up a move list for this bad boy? I mean, I'm into that. Okay, grab that. Cool. I think the next, the next thing is that we need this on Fight King. Is this a previous recording or is the stream canceled tonight? So this is the stream is canceled tonight for uh, the podcast and we're taking its place, right? Yep. That's the deal. Okay, sweet. Okay. Um, are you going? Are have you picked your character yet? Are yeah, you Sinjin? Yeah, I'm, I'm Sinjin only because I've you're doing. Out. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. So. Okay, this is weird. So in this game, um, the buttons don't stand for like light punch, medium punch, strong punch. It's high, light, high, medium, and high, strong. And then low, light, low, medium, low, strong. Um, you've got a fireball with down to forward. You've got a dragon punch, forward, down, forward. Mm -hmm. You've got a Chun-Li style um, attack by pressing any high attack rapidly. There you go. It says you've got a down down with a low button. Okay. And then a forward and back and then both strongs at the same time. Which I think is a grapple. That's gonna be really yeah. hard for me to pull off with uh, them being on the shoulder buttons. Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Your rage morphs are all three high buttons at the same time, all three low buttons at the same time, and then this same two while ducking. Gotcha. So it's it's pretty much a universal uh, system from that front. But every character does have like six to seven specials. 
Do you have a uh, favorite character in the 45 minutes you played? I do, yeah. I really like the um, the snake lady, M Melissa, I think her name is. Yeah, yeah, she's the second from the left. Oops. Oh, you get you get Kina instead. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Moltar Ben says, Can you pick up and eat the little people? You can pick up and eat the little people. There's an input for it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's high forward and low quick, which I guess would be like X and L1 at the same time after press. So down, down, and then those two. Up, it... Yeah, this game's kind of rough. Death by Kitten says, I've been duped with wonderful June and Bachman content. Thank you. We're happy to trick you and grift you. Eve says, it's a different fun tonight. Hey, I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, TSA Hole says, I owned the Primal Range comic books. That's a thing. They're out there. It's a four-part series. Okay, what was the picking up and eating them? Um, it's down, down, and then low, weak, and high, strong. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so X and L1, I think. But the only reward for eating them is just filling your meter. Well, and getting to see it. Well, that's true. That's true. Okay, Snake Lady. Uh... Uh, there she is. Okay. Oh, Snake Staff. All right. I really love the way they spell Melissa as if it's like an, <laughs> a, a crazy fantasy name. <laughs> like, oh, that's evil Alyssa. Wow. So one thing that I think is really in unique about these games, these are all done with like claymation animation, and I think it actually makes it the animation stand up halfway decent. I mean, they're not attractive sprites, but there's a lot of motion to them. Especially for this coming out in what, like 95? 96 is when it was scheduled. Man, I'm getting fucked up by this game. I may says Majin Alyssa. <laughs> the dead chicken says, whoa, what is this? This is Primal Rage 2, an unreleased sequel to the first Primal Rage game that was location tested in Chicago once for a weekend and never seen again. Do you have, uh, is there, has there been any, like, information about why? Why the game was canceled? Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of. So... The, the basic gist is Primal Rage 1 has a lot of problems with it. Namely, when it comes to execution, like moves are very hard to, to pull off in the first Primal Rage 1. Mm -hmm. So they brought in a bunch of... So like they made a bunch of games of the game, and then they brought in a bunch of pro fighting game players to help fine tune the systems and like the comic ads. Or, uh, sorry, I'm reading the text. To fine tune the systems and the combo system and like the back and forth flow and the balance. So that's what this location test is for, to try to help with balance. And then after this location test was done, the publisher was purchased by Midway. And Midway was publishing all sorts of like other arcade games at the time, Cruise in the USA, stuff like that, that wasn't as profitable as a fighting game would be. So they're going they canceled the game right before it was finished because they didn't believe it would be worth the cost of manufacturing. Gotcha. That's why it's, there's a great documentary on YouTube um, done by fighting game Matt, guy Matt McMuscles that talks about this game and kind of the the headaches behind creating it. It's it's a pretty good watch. It wasn't even worth Actually, like, it wasn't even worth making like kits, huh? Like, not really. Like I, I think that Midway kind of specialized in selling their individual cabinets and systems. Like, you know, they were a pinball distributor, Mortal Kombat, those special mounted uh, racing games with the wheel. Um, it's, it, so to me, it's like, they probably thought like, the only way we can make a profit here is if we run 10,000 of these and it's 1996 and people are falling in lot of, out of love with fighting games. So maybe we won't, we won't make that money. Which is wild to me. The team itself only had like two people on it by the time it was done. 
So it's just, it probably just got to a point where, like, by the time there was, like, nostalgia for that stuff, and they would want, they would have wanted to release it, I'm assuming, and this is just me guessing, like, Code Lost, like, you know, have, they'd have a hard time porting it. I think that they just kind of thought that, the, the like, I think with Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 3 came out and it underperformed. Like, it was very, very big, but it did not scale up to Mortal Kombat 3, to Mortal Kombat 2 sales, the way that they had hoped. So I think that the impression among Midway and other American developers was that, like, fighting games, and specifically these Mortal Kombat-style fighting games, were a fad, and that we were going to be moving into the era of 3D and polygons. I mean, the, um, the, the creator of the game was mentioning, like, Tekken and Tekken 2 were coming out at the same time, and those really caught people's attentions, where... You know, the really pretty Capcom fighters didn't, you know? Alpha 2 and Alpha 3 weren't beloved when they came out. Sure, but I'm more talking about, like, you know, now that... I'm talking about, like, in the Xbox Live Arcade era, you know, where they're starting to re-release these games. I'm wondering why it never got a re-release. I wonder if it would because, like, they'd have to fix some of the code, some right. of the bugs. I don't know, though, because, like... I don't... You feel this thing, right? Like, this is not unfinished. This doesn't feel unfinished. Oh, for sure. I could see them releasing a combination of like the first game and this one as a downloadable pack. The first game has never had a release with like decent online play. And in fact, the emulation for Primal Rage 1 is usually really bad. Um, most emulated versions of the game choke pretty, pretty bad and cut the speed by like 20 to 30 percent. So I think there could be a real interest there. Did you play um, much of the single player? Uh, no, not too much. Mostly just verses. It's Although, if you, hard. It, it really is. We could always try to parsec it if you want and do two player. But the big advantage of playing single player is that if you beat the game with one of the characters, you actually unlock their dinosaur form as a new character that you can select from the select screen. What are the what are the like super like transformation supers do in that case? Is it like? You turn back into you just, human? No, you just get normal supers. So like an extra fireball or a super fireball or something. They're not quite as versatile as the other ones, but their move lists are much better. T Martin G says the original Primal Rage didn't get released in arcade, did it? it actually did, and the arcade is, version is the only one that's accurate. Most of the SNES Genesis ports are really bad compared to the way the, the original runs. Jaime says NFL Blitz was around the corner for Midway. That's true. NBA Jam was bumping at the same time. Mortal Kombat was bumping. The Cruisin' Series. It is hard to overstate how popular the Cruisin' Series was. That thing is in every bar from here to Iowa in like 1996. I got time for NFL Blitz though. NFL Blitz is sweet. Any sports game that lets you do like a late hit is automatically scoring points with me. I know you're a late hit man yourself. I've played Street Fighter 3. <laughs> that is the best Street Fighter 3. If all it was was the late hits, I would consider it the best Street Fighter. <laughs> you just want a Street Fighter that's all late hits? I just want to finish somebody with a light hit so I can get off that heavy as they fall to their knees. <laughs> Let me throw a basketball at you and then just fucking obliterate your face. Let's see. Uh, the only good thing about MK3 was Striker and he sucks, says D. Martin G. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I like Cabal, but I'm not going to argue with the, the rest. We have been raided by Trying Casually Games. Howdy, what's happening? This is Game Crimes. I'm June. This is Mike. We're chilling out. We're playing Primal Rage 2 tonight, an unreleased fighting game. I gotta say, A-plus naming on the Witch Doctor guy, though. Eric. Shank. Oh, Shank. No, Shank. Who's Shank? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. D. Martin G says, I mean like an Xbox arcade. I don't think it has. No, it might have come out in one of those acclaimed collections. I'd have to check for that, but... Yeah, let's, last try, and, check. let's try and parsec this. This is fucking hard. <laughs> we can try to parsec this. You want me to get the parsec up? Is he showing you his asshole? Yeah, this is, that, that's... That is video game Goatsy right there. Did you see the win quote? <laughs> no, what did it say? 
<laughs> it said I'm insane and mutated. What's your problem? <laughs> that is that is such a vibe, though. Yava Dava Dill, how is it going, Gang Crimes? We're going well. We're going well here. We're playing some Primal Rage 2, and we're going to try to make some two-player going. Uh, let's see here. Bro, I love that the, uh, the Witch Doctor did a full-on goatsy at you. I think it's cool. I mean, it could have been worse. <laughs> it could have been better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't give us the best angle. What are the odds that Parsec works for us right out of the box? Fucking zero. I'm not even logged in. I'm not either. <laughs> what are the odds I <laughs> ever remember my password? Uh, I'm resetting that right now, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know what it is. They should have a link for when you remember your password. They should make the whole website out of the password. Oh, I, I got that reset email instantly. Parsec on its shit right now. Oh, it's got to be 12 characters? From oh my ground? god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset this every time I use this program. Uh huh. Just this is never gonna work. Don't key log me, chat. <laughs> You'll gain access to his parsec. <laughs> the yeah. worst thing you could do to a man. Oh, it's like you need to parsec. provide an authentication code. I forgot that I had an authenticator set up on this. Oh, you do? Yeah, I don't want people just peeping in on my computer. <laughs> You don't want yeah. people parsecing you for no reason? I don't want people getting all my cookies and bookmarks. <laughs> you motherfucker. You may now log into the app. You're logging into the app right now, bro? Yeah, I'm... I'm really good at this. <laughs> Here's a tip to those of you who have password troubles. Just write it down. Post it in public. It's good for you. <laughs> you don't have to worry because people are legally not allowed to steal your password. Yeah, that, that always works. I love going to the police station and being like, somebody's trying to play Street Fighter without me. All right, all right, all right. I just need to get a controller up and running. You might have to reset the main though for to get it to recognize the second controller. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it says I can connect to you. Yeah, because we've been uh, we, we're, we friends. We're frenzies. Attempting to we're frenzies. I say accept. You know, that's what I say. Oh, well, let me do that first try. That doesn't work like that. Well, no. The thing that always that's always difficult is getting the controls to work. Connection uh, com is fine. The Wait. computer you are attempting to connect to does not support hardware video encoding. Okay, let's see what that said again. So, chat, what we're trying to do is get this set up so that we can both play two-player um, together. It's not going well, as you may have guessed. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to need a driver update from me, so I'm thinking we don't do that right now. Yeah, we're not doing driver updates on stream. We don't we don't give our precious drivers away to just anybody. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, I'm glad we both got our uh, passwords current. Great for the audience. Let's just um, that's fine. Double check. Make that's sure that... fine. Well, what do you think? What do you think? What do we want? Do we want to try and see a fatality in... Uh... We can do that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that assumes that I can win a match. <laughs> you had, you had like, a three-match run with someone. I don't think so. No? Do you want a, a move list? Who are you going to go with? Who are you rocking with? I'm going to go with Kazi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eve says, I have a maid who is sick of changing her passwords all the time at work. 
So she just uses no more passwords one and then goes up in number as she changes it. Uh-huh. Did your friend work at a bank? Because that would be cool if I could you know, log into oh, some banks. Oh, got there. some back-to-back -back combos. The combo man's here? Okay, so you're being Kaze. Are you seeing? Are you seeing the shredding going on here? Are you actually doing it? Oh, we're we're getting stuff done. <laughs> it's all about finding the character that matches up with your own button mashing. That's right. You find a groove. <laughs> the Moobot showed up to said you can to say that you can donate to the Trevor Project, and yeah, if you've got some money to sling around, please do. Do good work over there. Japan. <laughs> Do you need Kaze's moves? Yeah, uh, yeah. All right, I've been looking them up. There's I a. I think I found my there's... boy. You found your boy Kaze? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what do we got here. We got. Forward and back for two strongs. Down to forward, low quick, so I think that's X. Uh, down to back low for an icy lance. And then up down low in the air. That's really weird. Up down low in the air. There you go. Doing the combo into the transform does feel pretty darn good. Yeah, but it, does, it doesn't seem like you can combo into it. They're a lot safer if you get it off a juggle. Okay, well. I just mean the hit stun doesn't last that long. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, You actually get different transforms if you do all ducking as well. So it's this is weird. It's giving a um like for the the fatality. Mm -hmm. It's X L1 and R1 and you hold it down and then press down up down on the D-pad. X L1 and R1. Okay. So you hold that down down up down. Maybe it'll work like thrill kill. <laughs> Maybe for lucky. I don't think so. I never saw him get struck by lightning. That's true. This game could use a Dr. Faustus. Where's like an evil doctor with his teeth? We ain't got none of those. So one thing, I, I don't think I've ever, I've never really been a fan of the, the side-scrolling fighters where like it's like, um, what do you call it, like the photo scans of characters or like this claymation style? Because I feel like it's, without having like a drawn art style, it's hard to see where the hitboxes are. Uh, yeah, I could see that. I, I think that like obviously having a training mode might help with that, but it's still pretty fucking obnoxious. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did you get smoked? Yeah, with the projectile. <laughs> Jaime says maybe it will work like Thrill Kill if we are lucky. Said no one ever before tonight. <laughs> we, we need we need some more kill uh, Thrill Kill fans in the audience throwing up the horns for for good old TK. Well, that was nice. Rage. 
I feel like this is one of those games that, like, if it had a scene, these combos would be out of control. <laughs> you seem to be able to pick up strings pretty quick. Callan says, is it possible the difficulty of this was too steep for casual gamers? It looks really rough. That's a good question. Um, one thing that's interesting about arcade machines is most have scalable difficulties. So if you get in what they call the dip switches, which are switches on the board that allow you to change some of the, the features of the, uh, the game, you can actually scale the difficulty up and down in most games. Uh, my guess is that one of the undone things in this was having an easy difficulty. Which is, you know, usually done near the end of the game. Actually, that's a good point. We're... Okay. Unknown service mode and unknown unknown. <laughs> that certainly isn't uh, intimidating. Thanks, Callum. We appreciate that. Our show, despite our best intentions, is uh, sometimes informative. Oh, I man. wish We're gonna was, it was easier that there was like more options to punish the transformations. They do seem to hit pretty hard. Yeah. Well, and also it's it's you're completely invulnerable while it's going off. Uh huh. I wonder if this is one of those games where, like, it's deceptively not super combo heavy and maybe a little more footsies. I mean, they do give everybody a fucking fireball. So he he rode on his staff and then slapped his own ass while he was going <laughs> in? Yeah, Shank forever, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god, he, did he sit on his own? Yeah, that that <laughs> explains the goatsy. Sit and spin, sit and spin, sit and spin. Woo ha ha. <laughs> oh, whoa, you unlocked the alternate version. Oh, weird. Let's go for it, baby. You took pity on me. <laughs> Blizzard, is that Greek or Roman? Norse? <laughs> Oh, you turn into the human? I thought you had specials. That's sweet. <laughs> Jay Sawanek says, huge surprise. This is game crimes? Yeah, baby, this is game crimes. Oh, yeah. Eve says, as a DD and d player, I have to admit, fireball for days. That's true. That's true. D. Martin says, I love the character does a goat see. Believe me, you're going to be seeing it more and more. And yeah, sit and spin is sweet. <laughs> how, does, how can anyone hang Shank? Well, Mike's probably hitting Shank right now. But. Yeah, I don't like Shank one bit. <laughs> oh, you got that Sub-Zero freeze, though? Ooh! Did you pop that off of a jump in? Yeah. That was kind of sweet. You have to already be blocking before the trans transformation animation starts, like, like by a oh. decent, by a decent amount. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Trayson said, "Which game did this crime commit?" Well, I don't know if the game committed a crime, but it never came out. So we're we might no, we're not committing a crime. It's fine. But this is a game that is pretty much impossible to get and was, uh, by all accounts, hobbled together by a couple of Frankenstein location test machines. It was never meant to be released. <laughs> D. Martin G says the crime of Goatsy. Hey, you know, uh, crimes are different depending on everybody. You you decide where that range is. Waters Rush says sup. I say sup back. What's up? Yes, just jab this prick to death. Oof. It's it's wild to me how well this runs. I know, right? It's like it's it's supposed to be pretty janky, but this this most version or this most recent hacked of it together version of Mame is pretty solid. I haven't noticed any real like any like super noticeable audio hiccups or like 
That's nice. These um these transformations seem a lot better with the blizzard. That was a chunky little combo right combo right there though. Waters Rest says, nothing much. Caught up with greeting adventures for the second time today, so I was seeing about finally catching it live. Unfortunately, the stream isn't going to be running tonight. You're stuck with us. Mike, you'll be back next week, or? Yeah, I believe next week we're going we're gonna to be back to normal. That's cool. You have to come by, let's mayor into the house, make sure all the, the cast members are well fed. <laughs> Okay, Blizzard has down to back low, down to forward low, down to forward high, and then forward back with two strongs. And an air throw for two strongs. Well, Water Sash, we appreciate that you stopped by. Nice to see. Oh, did you got that dizzy? I did that down to back low where he pulls the ice thing out. That, uh, that blocks projectiles also. Hmm. That's pretty great. So it says when I was reading through that we might be able to, um, Unlock the version, like the the dinosaur versions of characters, by holding up at the character select screen. We might need to turn the debug on for that. I don't know. That's pretty ice cold to like transform into a a guy, his in, into like a clone of a guy, and then stab him <laughs> with yourself. <laughs> Oh, it seems like the whiff punish on the big ice arm is pretty rough, though. Ooh, we got that dive kick. That's sweet. No! Oh, it looks like the ice ball has like a little lag before it comes out. Oh no, the quick version comes out much better. Okay, okay. That looks, that looks pretty good. Get him with the low poke. <laughs> you still feeling the big hand too? Uh, yeah. That worked. Oh, those low pokes are very real. Uh. Oh, boo! That's bullshit. We gotta do like we. You gotta get to the the boss, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Fuck me for jumping in, I guess. <laughs> that low poke does so much damage. Holy shit. That, like, does, like, three quarters of a transformation's damage. Oh, get that grapple, though. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's got my number, I'm afraid. What do you think? Do you have to zone him out? That's that's wild to me that that like swiping your sword low along the ground got me from overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good question from Waters Rush. You keen for Street Fighter Six, Mr. Bachman? Uh, yeah, I, 
guess it's, you know, I haven't looked into it too much. And I kind of pretty much checked out of Street Fighter V. Like, we played it on stream one time, but that's the extent of my time with it. Yeah, yeah. Did you play the demo at all? No. There is some extremely, like, create-a-character fucked vibes going on in Street Fighter VI, which is pretty great. Like, you can create a monstrosity in that game. Can I make, can I make Dudley? Uh, maybe, probably not with the, uh, the parts they give you in the demo, but I imagine. Ah, uh... uh, that was so close! Okay, if you go over to another character and you hold up for four seconds, does it unlock? There it we does. go. That's how you get, uh, yeah, that's how you get all the other characters. <laughs> his idol is just picking his own nose. Yeah, Chaos's whole thing is that he's like gross. He does boogers and vomit and poop. Yeah, that's good. And I think he, he pees on you, I think. No, yeah, he's definitely the one that pees on you. I think he's supposed to be like faster and more combo heavy than Blizzard. <laughs> That's my idle animation too. Says Jay Swanick. Uh, Four or five wit says there is a Street Fighter Six open beta coming up. I'll tell you what, I, I spent some time on the Street Fighter Six demo, and I am very impressed by it. I think it's um, big step forward from Five, and I I liked Five more than most. But um, yeah, the uh, the dynamic like parrying system, pseudo focus attack thing they have going on feels like a really strong mechanic, and I'm excited. A lot of those new um, character designs look pretty crispy. Menon especially is is like I'm ready for that. Low poke, low poke, baby. Was this idle animation just scratching his own ass? They may have been the Flatul song. <laughs> It said flatulence is funny as your win quote. <laughs> Cerise I keep, says I keep forgetting that it, uh, that I'm playing an arcade game and so I keep hitting start to pause. Cerise says, hi, stopping by. Want to say hi, June and Bachman. Hope all is going well. I think it's going well. We're getting our primal rage on. Yeah, Water's Rush says... It's not going well in the game. <laughs> Water's Rush says, as someone who couldn't care less about Street Fighter V for most of its lifespan, I absolutely love everything about the drive gauge. Totally agree. The drive system is really smart and works a lot better than... A lot of the V trigger nonsense in the last one. Starman says maybe this is the edible kicking in, but I'm having major flashbacks watching this. It doesn't seem that different from the release Primal Rage. I think that's a good point. Like the the, the elements that people like about Primal Rage are still here. The dinosaurs, the little guys you can eat, the fatalities where you pee on people. It just seems like a lot better put together. Is it a different uh, uh, input to eat guys for everybody? No, I think it's the same. I think it's... Um, let me look it up again. Can I only eat the other person's guys? No, I think you need all the guys. Okay. Down, down. High. Fierce. Low, quick. So high, fierce would be L1, I think. And then low, quick would be X, okay. I think. Oh shit, we got a fucking crash. It crashed on us. Hi, hello, Mr. Catman. Although you can check out all the other dinosaur guys now. That's true. Hi, stinky guy. I'm being bothered by cats, so aren't Jaime says, I love the Alpha 3 World Tour mode, so I'm looking forward to the 6 World Tour, although I'm very met about the roster. I think the roster could use some work. Um, I think there's too many Street Fighter 2 characters, but I think that's always the argument. Um, and yes, World Tour mode looks sweet. Can we see the cat? There he is, our boy. I loved all the modes that uh, Alpha 3 had. Oh, yeah. All the dynamic battles and... 
the one where you, is world tour is the one where you like gain levels and stuff too right that's that's pretty yep. sweet <laughs> eat shit melissa 405 wit says so many street fighter 2 characters but no sagat i hate it that is a weird omission to me sagat's pretty ill I could have done with that like E Honda or Blanca for once. And I like those characters. They just like are in every game. This guy seems pretty sweet, Mike. I mean it's first round. So we'll see how uh I'll sharpen my claws on your bones. Hell yeah. Alright, D Martin G, I think you can see the, our horrible little cat boy lounging there. In the long mode. It's getting real long. Hope I'm sure he'll come and bother me more. Waters Rush says, I'm really glad to see a fighting game that isn't Soul Calibur actually put budget put into the single player content. Amen to that, because I I love those like goofy ass single player modes. With the exception of Smash Brothers, I find it super annoying. The the new world what do they call? What do they call the <laughs> the the story mode in the the Switch Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, I don't remember. I can't do it. I see a certain number of collectibles and I just check out. I can't collect things. I did like uh, the the mode in um, Brawl though, which I think. Oh, the cool. mode in Brawl was good. Yeah, I like that one too. I, I like the platforming. It's just very like repetitive without a lot of rewards. Right. The um the the melee version feels very um like quick, right? You can play through that for like 15, 20 minutes with every character. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Waters Rush says it's great for everyone that is intending to spend much time on the competitive aspect of the game, which is ninety nine point nine percent of the people that buy the game. You're really not wrong on that. I know that um Fighting games have a pretty healthy audience these days, but I worked a lot of time in, in retail game sales, and most games people don't engage with on that level. Dead Chicken says, I remember the Tekken iteration had the side-scrolling brawler mode and enjoying it. Tekken Force is pretty sweet, I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing through as, as Dr. Boskanovich and just old man capoeira everywhere. What do you think after this one we can switch it up? Sure, sure. Vertigo, sweet. It's like the um, doll seam of this game. Tekken 3 also did have a volleyball mode. Tekken bowling is also pretty sweet. Vertigo is kind of nice with it. Yeah, I don't hate it. <laughs> that rules. Oh, That's so good. For a minute. <laughs> Whoa, did that crouching upper like juggle? That was sweet. Water Star says, if you bring your single player mode well enough, you stand a better chance of bringing people over. I totally agree with that. I think it's um, a good single player mode will teach you how to play the game and make you want to play more. Yeah. I mean, but if it doesn't teach you how to play the game, it's it's not as valuable, I don't think. Uh, a, a game that's really good at this is the Undernight Inbirth series. Really, really good at it. It's giving me a lot of reasons to be engaged with stuff and learning in the process. Okay, we've got Street Fighter VI call out for, for character wishes. I see a Crimson Viper reference. Mike, set a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, Crimson Viper is fine. Uh, if it doesn't have Dan, I'm not interested in it. Hell yeah. Waters Rush says uh, Viper and Dudley. We need Dudley. We need Dudley so bad. Like, should be first DLC roster. Yep. And also, can we f ever get a real Sean? Like a decent competitive Sean, so we can do a little basketball action? That's true. And not have to just play like a weak-ass Ken? That would be sweet. 
Also, make, uh, you bring Dudley back. I don't think his, uh, taunt was a projectile in 4, was it? No, it wasn't. That sucks. That fucking sucks. <laughs> yes, you should be tagging people with the rose constantly. Oh, fuck. Uh, 4 or 5 Wit says Dudley would be an old man in that game, and that would be cool. I agree. Old man Dudley has to happen. Absolutely. Tekken 3 also has Gon, who is horribly broken in that game, but I love the character. Gon is sweet in that game, and Starman, if, have you ever read the Gon manga? If you ever get your hand on those, those are the most beautiful hand-drawn uh, manga series. I, I, can, I recommend it to everybody I can, I can get my hands on. Almost wordless, incredibly intricate, everyone's done with just a ballpoint pen, which is super impressive. Alright, back to the, the wish casting. <laughs> Uh, Waters Rush says, I pray for G's return. That would be sweet. I'd ta also take Q while that while that matters up. Jaime says, Makoto, Sean, Guy, and Relento. Definitely Makoto. I can agree on that one. A revised El Fuerte. That could be decent. I really liked El Fuerte, although I know there's some haters. Makoto's um, one of those, I don't want to, I don't want to play as Makoto, but Makoto's a lot of fun to fight against, I think. I would agree with that. They also made her very different in 4 from 3. Yeah. Like, if we could get um, Command Grapple Nightmare Makoto back, I would be very grateful for that. Thank you. Uh, my, my controversial Street Fighter wish casting is I would like a Rufus in 6 if we could. Thank you. Maybe a Hakan. That would be cool. I like the ugly hideous characters. You're not going to win me over on... On arguing for good stuff. You say no no Rufus, but have you ever fought a really good Ken with Rufus? It feels incredible. Hakan is the shit, though. He's sweet. <laughs> His face! Is... <laughs> Are we jumping on? Time in the oven. Yeah, let's move on. Let's, let's move on. I think it, it looked like it got a little time in the oven, frankly. <laughs> All right. The quickest transition we have ever had between games. <laughs> you are not going to see that again, folks. We're rolling out the red carpet tonight, truly. What are we playing? What is this? So this is a really interesting game. This game is called Clockwork Aquario. And it was originally developed by uh, on the, for the Sega arcade system in the mid-90s by a development house named Westone, or West One, depending on who you talk to. You might be familiar with them because they made the Monster World series of games, in including Monster World 3 and 4, like the two best platformers on the Genesis. Um, this game itself was created for the arcade, developed for the arcade, mostly done, I believe it had a one location test, and then it was shelved because Westone as a company went out of business. As of last year, I want to say it was, a company picked up the rights to this game, continued development so that it was finished and the bugs were worked out and it's finally been released after 30 years of its initial development so mike's going to be playing this on the switch but this was originally intended to be an arcade game and they had some uh some interaction with the original developers for this as well didn't they they did a lot of those developers moved on to other places like camelot um and you can see i love the original developers there I picked this game for us to check out because, frankly, it's really, really pretty. It's very well. It's, it's a lot of, uh, you know, poppy, hand-drawn animation. Good stuff. Cerise says, I haven't played Primal Reach myself, but I remember playing another fighting game that was essentially boss fights every round. 2D, beautiful pixel art. Default character was a lion man with a sword. I can't remember the name as it had a different name in North America. Um, Cerise says Red Earth was the game in question. That game is also known as Warzord, or Warzard. Um, I think that's a really cool game. If you would like to try something similar, you can jump on MAME and look up a game called MetamoQuester. And that game is very similar to Red Earth in that it's a fighting game with a series of boss fights. Uh, also with really beautiful graphics. I am I I I love a game that just like gives you granular options for your CRT filter. Oh, and you can get deep too. Corner rounding, <laughs> you can control the gamma. My God. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. That looks all right. I like it. Honestly, I think they um <laughs> they must have given a shit about the scan lines because they look great on capture. Oh man, Huck Londo. <laughs> <laughs> or Gush. Yeah, Gush is creeping me out. I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like Gush? I mean, we'll try Gush, I'm sure, but... <laughs> that was the demo. I didn't just instantly know how to play it. Oh, sweet. Get the, the combos there. I'm guessing you're in Invincible? I guess? Oh, that was probably so that you could get that gem that was on the, the spikes. Starman says, this is so 90s anime. Yeah, it, it's got that vibe for sure. <laughs> Dead chicken, this is Sega as hell. Oh yeah. It's, uh, this plays alright. Yeah, it feels okay? Yeah. Oh, that guy's so sick. I think this does have two-player co-op as well. If you're interested in playing this yourself, it's available on the Switch and the PS4 for like 10 bucks or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, it's normally 20 it's on sale right now. Nice. <laughs> Eve says this looks very sick. Colin says very sick. I can't disagree with any of that. Uh, Weststone worked with Sega on a lot of Genesis games, so games that you might have been familiar with um, outside of Monster World. They're one of Sega's like second party studios. Look up there. What's that in history here? <laughs> For a second, I thought his hair was a bicycle helmet. <laughs> it does kind of have those grooves, like the bicycle helmets in the 90s where you could fit like slices of pizza in the holes. I really love the, uh, you know, the point scoring font, the, the rainbow. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. This boss is awesome. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I love that animation for like coming back from the dead. It like Pretty great. floats up and then throws the robot. <laughs> Yeah, it's seems like he's got a cast on his leg because his health is low. <laughs> I did not notice that. That's awesome. God, the, the spacing there is... Let's see some other games you might know Westone from. Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy 3. Wonder Boy 4. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks Wonder Boy. It's very Wonder Boy. Oh, are you Gush, bro? Yeah. Yeah. They made the Genesis version of Mega Man, or Bomberman. They made the excellent Dungeon Explorer. Dark Half for the SNES, which is a very interesting JRPG that just got a translation. And of course, my brother's favorite game and yours, Real Fishing Wild for the Dreamcast. Yo, Gush is big. Yeah, he's a big boy. Like, is that sprite, like, noticeably... Yeah, like it's for a, sure. Oh, okay. It's a different hitbox. Okay. Oh, man. You know that rainbow gradient looks insane on a CRT. Oh, that's ground. Okay. You lost your head? 
I like the little key as like as a way to tell you that there's a mid boss coming. Oh no, was there cute. wasn't. It was just uh okay. Oh weird. Okay. <laughs> Cerise says yo 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 oh yeah. That's right. Oh. Uh oh! Whoa, you throw like fireballs? That's sweet. Man, Gush has got it going on. Every time he jumps, yo. <laughs> oh, you only get the combo for bouncing on him if you don't, if you're not holding the jump button weirdly. Oh, really? Yeah. That's strange. Waters Rush says, I'm going to have to look up the soundtrack later. I want to say there are some Sega greats that worked on the uh, the soundtrack for this one. Uh, Shinichi Sakamoto, the, develop the sound developer. I'm not really sure what else they're known for now. Fish are awesome. I want Gush to appreciate them. my wedding. <laughs> are you getting married to Gush? Yeah. It looks like this ah. uh this uh composer only worked with West One for the most part. Oh, oh is it making it run down the clock? Try our oh. third character. There we go. Gush marrying Bachman to Gush would be a perfect wedding. I agree. Have we ever done an on-camera wedding? Because we could. That's it's not right. illegal for you to, to get married to a video game character, right? Love is love. I honestly would love to see a legal argument against getting married to a fictional character. I think wasn't there a character or a guy in Japan who married a character from a DS dating sim? Okay. I, I want to say that's the case. I'm gonna double check myself there. The fish driving the crab car is so sweet. Yeah, here we go. Tokyo Man marries video game character. <laughs> this dude's lips. Ungendered dude. Zero idea what their gender is. No clue. Hard to say. Dude status, I think, can be granted. Sometimes girls are dudes, that happens. Oh, when you get up to 2,000, they're gold? I guess. Wait, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> this, this fucking stream brought to you by Elgato Gaming, I guess. What? what? You just, did you just get a commercial in the middle of Frank Switch? Yeah, but like, generated... Generated from, like, my capture software. What the fuck? We're not getting paid from that. I guess not. Just to let y'all know. Just to let you know. Um, but here's the thing. Elgato, if you want us to, we will happily say that that did not happen and that your products don't harass people. You just gotta pay us a lot of fucking money. I'm talking, like, I want a house. 
I want a second house. Yeah. On Lake, on Lake Michigan. And none of this Holland shit. I'm gonna be living near the beach. Dude, Holland is a long ways away from Michigan. <laughs> uh, Holland is a state of mind as well. Also, Holland, Michigan is like one of the most boring towns I've ever lived in. And that is saying some shit. So this game is also very hard. Sounds like it. Need another house for the kitty. Uh, yeah, that would be great, because then he wouldn't be around here. Kidding. I love him. He's just very annoying. He's a great little guy. Who chews on all of my cables. And the whole reason you have cats is to hate him, honestly. Pretty much. But I mean, like, it's repaid in kind, though. If your cat doesn't loathe you, you probably don't spend enough time harassing it. Just throwing that out there. There's, like, a nice balance between, like, you holding resentment for a cat and the cat holding resentment for you, and you just kind of, like, exist in a balance. He is genuinely, like, the sweetest cat in the world, though. What a nice little guy. I ran off to. Oh, he's already a ghost. Oh, no, just curled up in a ball. There he is. Ah! We have to find the key? I guess. Oh, oh there it is! There it is! <laughs> You've gotta maintain that mutual frenemyship. It's that, for real. Like, I let him sleep on my lap in the middle of work, but I don't raise much of a fuss. And for it, he destroys a... a, a Wii Classic controller. Oh. It was like one of the not like non-handled ones though, so it's not that big of a loss. Right. Those original classic controllers did not feel great. Okay, the robot sunfish are awesome and huge. You know how we got like Parodius to be a cute version of Gradius? Uh huh. We should have got these guys to do, like, a cute version of Darius. Oh, yeah. Like, adorable fish guys, like the ones in this game. It seems like everyone's a, a bad fish in this game. Oh Jeez, this is a brutal fight. Gush, he's back at it again. Love the explosion though. Whew, beautiful. I know we talked shit on Gush at the beginning, but I think he's kinda nice with it. Yeah, no, I am I'm, I'm a big fan of Gush. You're Gush Man. Classic Mega Man villain Gush Man. It's amazing that you said one that actually hasn't been used yet. They got to Hard Man before Gush Man. Oh my god! The bouncing is really funny. It's like by going for points you're putting yourself at greater risk just by bouncing too much. Four or five wit says, "I love a good boss machine blowing up and the pilot runs away." Yeah, that's that's video games right there. Death by kitten says, "I love the design detail of the one-up filling as you earn enough points to earn a one-up." I didn't notice that, but that's genius. D Martin G says, "Gush seems like the best player character." I would agree with that. I don't know about you, but. Now that you've tried all three, do you, are you a Gush man? Oh yeah, no, I think Gush is the best one. For sure. Gush is the man. Starman asked, a bit off topic, but do you remember the show Big Guy and Rusty? Oh my god, I do, yeah. Um, that's a good show, better than it had any right to be, and the comic is wonderful. Oh, Death by Kitten beat me to it. Yeah, the comic is, the comic is really good for Big Guy and Rusty. 
It's very, like, what if America did Astro Boy? <laughs> oh, Gush is, Gush is going crazy style. You just threw that thing. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> you Let's smoked. Go. You smoked. Holy shit. Dude, picking up the boss and throwing him off screen is very good. <laughs> I have no idea you could do that. That's so sweet. I was recently reminded of it and realized that I thought it was Astro Boy, which means I've never watched Astro Boy. This movie is pretty good. The comics are great. Um, the GBA there's just a really lot good. of it. GBA game is excellent too. That's true. How did you become gold, D. Martin G. asked. Do you know? Is that just like there's a power-up? Power yeah. Okay, okay. It's so sweet that you propped him in a boss fight. <laughs> oh, man. The running animation is beautiful. All of- every part of his body is rattling. You drank a potion, and then your head grew back. Uh. Come on. So this clearly, like, really couldn't have handled, like, being ported to the Genesis in any major way. But you have to think that this would be, like, one hell of an expensive Japanese-only Saturn game if it got a port. Oh, yeah. This would be, like, a $400... It'd be one of those people talk about because it's rare. Absolutely. Although, I, I mean, I, this looks pretty fun. I can't it's, quote no, on it's it. good. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's... It doesn't... It doesn't feel unfinished either. It feels like an arcade game. You know, like... Yeah, but... Like, it's got the arcade difficulty spike. That makes sense. Probably... And the co-op probably helps with that a bit, too. So I think you can, like, um, jump off of each other. Remember when I brought up the show, I'm Gush is a guy in a mech who refused to admit he's not a robot. I, is there a guy in there? He'd have to be like... It would be the equivalent to sitting inside... Oh my god, that boss! <laughs> it would be the equivalent to sitting inside one of those green egg grills. This is the best boss ever. <laughs> he's, he's wearing Adidas track shorts and they fall down? Come on now. He's in a mech, and the mech cries? Come on, you can't do better than that. Oh, they're shorter. Okay, I see. <laughs> Eve says the OG Angry Bird. Yeah, kind of. They got the, the roundness of everything. Oh, we got another phase. Okay. 
That's a duck ship? No, that's still another fish. It just kind of looks like a duck. <laughs> Watching Gush throw these balls looks like a 90s game show. That's right, this is Guts. Okay, so we're... Uh oh Oh, you don't get any more coins! What?! You blank out at some point in time? Yeah. Well, that's a load of shit. This game sucks. <laughs> no, what I'm other in, modes do we that. have? Yeah, that looked, that looked really fun. Well, let's see if we can back up. Oh, that was a screenshot. Um, if it's like a hold. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Reminds me of the Sigma fight in Mega Man X. Yeah, there's that multi-stage is obnoxious. Uh, oh, you have to beat the game once, and then you get coin insert, and... Okay, okay. That's, that's a load of shit. Oh, okay. after level three has been completed once in any difficulty. You know what level I was on? Were you on four? I think I was on three. Uh, well, it should be unlocked, but it's, it just says you need two players. What is training mode? Oh, yeah. Uh, training mode only gets you through the first two stages, but unlimited credits. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So that's no good either. You'd basically have to get through the game on easy. Right. Okay. Well, I don't know if you want to try that again, but I mean, if you want to poke at something else on your Switch, go for it. Uh, do we have anything know. else lined up? I don't remember if there was a third thing or not. I did get a. I did uh, mention a, a fighting game called The Fallen Angels, um, which is playable on Mame and Fightcade. If you wanted to check that out. Okay. I wonder how difficult that'll be to set up, though. Uh, I'll take a look and see. I think if you have Fightcade, it can be downloaded through Fightcade. But... Oh, cool. Like, cause you have that script, right? I mean, I I assume I've still got Fightcade installed. Right. 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 Coven.com said, uh, Bachman River City Ransom is also good for the NES. Oh, for sure. I don't, I don't disagree with that. Whoa, you're keeping your collection lean, my friend. Uh, well, it's, this is on my OLED. Oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah, so there's not... Are there any performance differences between the two? Nope. But the screen is None. really nice. Gotcha. Yeah, the stock screen is, is not great on that thing. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. We're going e-shopping, folks. Are you going to pre-order the Zelda? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to pre-order it, but I'm going to pick it up for sure. Yeah. Seems very, like, sandboxy from what I've seen. You can tell that all the Neo Geo games were, like, very early Switch releases when you're kind of, when, like, you're kind of hurting for <laughs> stuff to play. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, that's all there. Oh, God. I really bought, sweat it. I bought ARMS. Oh, no, this is a test I, punch. Okay, I did not buy ARMS. Good. I would love to buy ARMS. I mean, I've already got two. Uh, anyway. Oh, okay, here we go. We're looking at your collection. Did you ever play Battleship Brigade? No, never. That was all right. What is it? What is it? Uh, God, I don't even really remember how to explain it. Um... It's like a story-based cooking game. You go, you enter in like cooking battles, but then it's got these like uh, um, these gathering modes where it's like a two D platformer, and you're going and gathering ingredients for the uh, uh, for the cooking portion. Interesting. Okay, I can, I can bite on that. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, folks are throwing it up for ARMS in there. I've played ARMS a couple of times and really liked it, but it seems like if you don't have a regular second player or competitive environment, it could get pretty stale. Yeah, for sure. Uh... Oh god, the brief moment that I played DC Universe online on Switch. Is that not the most cursed MMO you've ever been in? Yeah, and, and then playing it on, like, probably the most cursed location. <laughs> 
Yeah, Everybody I, just kind of looks awful. I really wanted to know what's the worst way to play this game. And to be fair, you did that. You did that thing. Uh huh. Some of these games I have no memory of ever picking up. It 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 is like that though. You have Dragon Mark for Death? Yeah. Oh, I have that too. I would love to play it with you sometime. Yeah, let's absolutely do that. I've never been able to play multiplayer, but that game is sick. I was like looking forward to that game for the longest time. It was to the point where like I was checking their Twitter account on a weekly basis. <laughs> I I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's clearly just like 2D Monster Hunter, uh -huh. but like it feels good and it feels you know, a lot like a um I don't know, like a, a Mega Man X game or something. It, it wouldn't take you long to download. No, probably not. <laughs> I have mine ready to go on the Switch, so. We've got four or five wits in the Fight Cade chat room for Daruku Tenshi, the File and Angels. Big respect, dog. Big respect. Uh, did you find. So you, oh, you said it was just downloadable through there. So I'm just yeah, it's totally downloadable. Oh, god. Okay. Yeah, I can pull that up. I just booted it right now, actually. I was having fun going through your switch list. Damn. Spicy. Yeah, it won't take too long to get to the end if you just want to finish it up. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, fast you Star might have to update Fightcade, so that's a good excuse to do this. Yeah. You ever play uh, Fast RMX? No, what is it? It's like a it's like a F Zero uh, Wipeout style game. Oh fuck! Well, I love Wipeout. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, all right. I can fuck with that. Uh, Floor Kids. Floor Kids. Your recommendation? I love Floor Kids. Love that game. Soundtrack's great. What else do we got? Uh, here, Galaxy. Uh, play a game called Guess Whether I uh, Guess Whether I Wanted to Play It or It Was Just Really Cheap on Sale. Uh, <laughs> the Resurrection of Music. Yeah, that was. Uh, super sale for sure uh i actually know one of the developers on galaxy um oh, when they awesome. made that 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 and skulls in the shogun shout out brett cutler my, my dog love that guy very nice dude galaxy is another one that i was like i was looking forward to the first iteration of it for the longest time and constantly checking to see when it was going to be out it was a pretty long development time if i recall correctly yeah it's like a couple of, it's a very small team so um, I actually got to play a prototype of that game when it was mid-development. Um, when when we, we hung out after a holiday party. I don't think I'm ruining anything too much there. So I played it in a very early prototype form where it was very, like, you know, blocks and shapes. Uh, Glay Lancer is amazing and everyone should buy it. Uh, period. My favorite shooter. It's so good. Uh, good job uh, was definitely... all right. I've heard good things about yeah. that. And Golf Story's banging, too. Um, Death by Kitten says, Fast Amar RMX is decent, especially if you like Wipeout, and I do. Very much so. I've actually been playing the Wipeout compilation on PS4 lately. That game's hard. <laughs> See, I don't recognize, like, any of these. Well, I mean Hollow Knight, but... Oh, I Am Satsune is one I definitely want to get my hands on at some point in time. Ikaruga into the breach. Callan says golf story was a blast. Totally agree. Kamiko is really great too. Recommend that to everybody. Uh, the, get... Have you played these uh, Kukiyomi Considerate games? Mm -mm. They give you. Um, they just put you in a situation, and you're supposed to find the most polite solution to get out of it. Like conflict management. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's I'll, awesome. I'll pop into one real quick because they're 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 really good. Sweet. Kind of like WarioWare style, like, but um, yeah, just real I'll quick. Fuck with that. That sounds great. Death by Kitten says I freaking love Hammer Watch. I've never played that. Have you? Uh, I've heard of it. Do it's I probably in your purchase it? list. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah it's oh like, yeah, baby. Oh, it's like a tower defense, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't know. Gaunt, uh, Death by Kitten says it's Gauntlet style, which I fuck with Gauntlet style. That's cool. Okay. Well, yeah, apparently I have no idea what that game is. Um, let's 
Let's see. Yeah, Gauntlet is great. Is our Ultimate Alliance worth a shit? Uh, no, I think I thought it sucked. Oh no! Okay. Uh, Mercenary Kings also like a Monster Hunter style. Uh, two D. Yeah. I didn't like it. I thought it, it didn't do very much. It's like a. It's supposed to be, I think, a Metal Slug riff, but wow. it doesn't really hit. I don't think it doesn't feel like Metal Slug at least. Yeah. Got Minecraft think... and Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition. I don't know what the difference is there. I do... <laughs> and you bought them. And yeah. yeah. Uh, Moonlighter was pretty good. Oh, I never heard of that. Yeah, uh, you you run a shop during the day, and then you, it's a dungeon crawler at night. I like that. Yeah. Mister Driller Drill Land. Let's mm -hmm. go, folks. Okay, no memory of buying NBA 2K18. I think it was on sale for like a dollar at some point in time. Yeah, well, that was de it was definitely going to be, I mean, 2018, so it would have been early in the Switch's life cycle. I mean, like, so, probably just, uh... uh we get, like, Classico-style Dwayne Wade. Never Stop Sneaking is, like, basically uh, Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Oh what? That that's good. Yeah, it was alright. If, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Got night trap. Oh yeah. <laughs> night vision. <laughs> so you can use the infrared thing on your Joy-Con as a night vision camera. <laughs> For real? Yeah, you can creep around in the dark. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> did you ever Starman play... says that what's that? Uh, did you ever play O Sir? No, never. Yeah, those are also very good. In the insult simulator. Yeah, you're given different like uh, puzzle pieces to craft an insult, and it's like a fighting okay. game. You hurl them back and forth. That's sweet. Starman says, "I love the Monster Hunter series. Did anyone play the DS games? Were they any good? Um, I played the PSP and Vita versions. They're pretty solid. Yeah, they're fine. the The weirdest thing about um, Oh, I forget which Monster Hunter it was for the 3DS. It only supported uh, local wireless play. But if you had uh, Monster Hunter Try for the Wii, or uh, it was either the Wii or Wii. the U. Yeah, there you go. Um, you could you could play online using the Wi-Fi from the Wii to connect to your 3DS, which meant you had to have a LAN adapter to get your Wii online. And it just and all it was doing was pretending to be local play so from your 3ds like all you saw was another 3ds to play with <laughs> it's, it was fucking wild that is the most nintendo thing i've ever heard that's one of those things where at some point i'm gonna set that up just to like just for the just experience do it. of doing it yeah yeah just like we have to play metroid prime hunters at least once for the same reason yeah <laughs> bunch of Alice... cross. love that p cross Pocket Rumble. Callan says Night Trap. Ha, Sega CD. I had that. Much love for the Sega CD, folks. Have we Gone ever, too soon. Have we ever played Battle for the Grid together? I don't know if we have, but I'm totally up for it because that I game kicks ass. I'd love to do that. That would be sweet. I have the DLC, too. Uh, Puyo Pio Tetris. All Timer. Get some online play on Match of the Millennium, please. Super Dragon not, Ball. Does it not here. support it? I don't. I don't know if it does. I think it's just local versus. That's unfortunate. Uh, Self-reporting myself with the sword art. <laughs> Reporting yourself as what? A, a an anime liker? Mm-hmm. Is that a surprise? Uh, no, not an anime liker. There's <laughs> the sword arts just got problems. <laughs> Do we have time to go into why? Uh, it's a, it's a it's extreme uh, harem anime. Oh, gotcha. Like it's like not not the reasons that I like it for. I like it for the isekai part of it, but you got to get around some uh, pretty problematic stuff. To get gotcha. Through it. They still make harem anime. I mean, <laughs> oh boy. Every every character wants to fuck him. 
I guess Dragon Ball's not that different. It's just everyone wants to befriend him. <laughs> like a friend harem? Yeah. Goku has a friend harem. That guy doesn't know what sex is. Did he you... had kids on accident. Did you ever play Snake Pass? I've seen someone play it. I've never played it myself. It I've cool... heard it's interesting. It's a cool idea. I liked it a lot. It's hard. But... I like anything that plays with physics like that. It just looks very unique. Starlink, like, I'm sure they knew what they were doing, but they really shot themselves in the foot. Like, because while they were still t- selling the Toys to Life stuff in stores, they sold a um, a version of the game for much cheaper that had all of the content that the Toys to Life stuff got you. So there's, like, no point to buy their dumbass Amiibos because no, they're already just giving you the good stuff. <laughs> but it was cool. It was like, it was like uh, I mean, I'm a sucker for this shit. I don't think it's practical, but I still love it. Where it's just like, you've got a little like ship attached to your controller, and you swap the guns that are on it. And like swap the yeah, pilot that's... to get different abilities. That's pretty great. Yeah, I like It's that. a shame they didn't commit. You have to commit with something like that. Like, you have to make people jump through the hoops and, oh, and sure. enjoy it. You know? Tetris 99 uh, came out like a while ago, but it's still really good. Especially is it, if you can get is it going. still active? I, I, it may not be. I'm not sure. Yeah, I thought it but I, I really loved it. Uh, did you play um, Super Mesh? I have no clue what it is. Yeah, it's like, they had like a story that like wasn't entirely necessary, but you're like um, mashing up like uh, genres and stuff, and it's generating those games like on the fly. Okay. It's, it's kind of okay. a, it, it's kind of limited, so it's I mean it's not something you can do for very long, but it like, you know the it's as a proof of concept it was really cool. I respect that. Uh, obviously, all the Jackbox, uh, a little bit of Torchlight. Groove, which I bought and maybe put two hours in and never touched. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's just there's a lot of games like that. Didn't did we play Wrestling Empire at some point? I don't think so. Or that is I... the most cursed fucking wrestling game. <laughs> oh. Have you played it? It's it's really something. I feel like I did, but I don't remember it. D Martin G says Goku doesn't even know how to kiss. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Starman says, neither do I. Folks, if you're going to think about kissing, don't learn it from Goku. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> you know what? There is. <laughs> I don't care. Damn. Damn. You tell him. So this is uh, Kukiyomi. This is the the conflict management one this title is partially displayed in Japanese and English please enjoy Japanese culture (laughs) it's a good sentiment and also a good threat (laughs) so we've got uh, consider it quick consider it consider it together which is Uh, multiplayer I'm assuming yeah Ten thousand pounds of respect for starting the game that way. <laughs> move the red object on the screen. Sometimes there may be nothing to move. Just do what you consider to be the appropriate action. If you wish to stop playing, <laughs> okay. This has extreme like we fucked up we wear <laughs> game vibes. And then you can just not. (laughs) Yeah, just let him. Let him spin. As our good friend Shank says, sit and spin. Down boy. (laughs) (laughs) And I don't even think you're scored. That's (laughs) No, why would you? (laughs) 
I love to be a considerate bird. <laughs> yeah, the flying bee formation is mostly about politeness. <laughs> In some way or another, considerate. Okay? You've been judged as considerate, friend. <laughs> you know, it'd really be nice to Santa Claus if you'd go the fuck to sleep. And why does he just stand next to your bed? It's gonna inception you. That's what you get for being chill. Can I take your order? Wait, do you have to- is this your order? Uh-huh. Would it, it- it's not- it would be rude to not get beer? Is that the implication? I don't know. I don't know. But I ordered a white Russian. <laughs> Starman says, This is like the heroin game from the Rock Band episode of South Park. Have not seen it. Can't, can't speak on it. Just ringing that bell. Ring it. Yeah. I don't know. That what girl's that... going to get her drink refilled. Oh, I see. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what are you. I don't know. A back. All bastards are cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be the bully. Oh, the pin. Oh, I see. Imagine going on the first date with somebody and like two hours into bowling, they're like, "All right, if you make the shot, I will keep dating you." <laughs> <laughs> Truly, mildly considerate. Oh, fuck you, Santa. He tried. You're trying to be considerate? I'm listening to that foot in the upper <laughs> Why is the foot so gnarly? I have no, no clue. Donkey, Ton Donkey Kong needs a petty. Once we hit 15, I'll back out of this. That's the correct move. You gotta get in closer. You gotta see that action. It's only considerate. Wait. that extra wave in. <laughs> You're a conscientious objector to the wave. <laughs> Being kicked out of a football stadium for not saying na 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 goodbye. That that ghost one brought me back into it. Oh, you're you're ready to go. Oh. It's see, it's not always clear like what the button is going to be though is the problem. So like sometimes I end up accidentally doing a considerate act. What are you supposed to do? Like they have an umbrella. They don't I know, need your but help. your umbrella will bump into their umbrella. <sighs> okay. Okay. I don't know what the... I don't know what the... Oh, you have to go to the right, because there's a pole. Yeah, I know. Oh, you broke him up! <laughs> Homewrecker. Robocon! <laughs> <laughs> Let this game be a lesson. If you're not taking your girlfriend out to get gunpla, that's your <laughs> fault. That's your fault. And, and if your marriage fails, that's why. <laughs> the polite thing to do would be create a 360 perimeter around the girlfriend. <laughs> I like the implication that they won't honk if she's on the other side.
You're supposed to raise your hand on the bus? I guess. Was looking away the considerate thing to do? I don't know. Japanese samurai is weaker than great elderly. <laughs> is that true? I don't. I don't know. No buttons did anything there, <laughs> so maybe they're just telling us. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold the robot's hand. You got a new girlfriend. <laughs> and she's a Gundam. All you have to do is walk slower to get Gundam girlfriend. <laughs> I guess we could think of them as a couple now. Are they breaking you up? <laughs> They're headed towards an anime, but then they went to a romance movie. Oh, you're dating, yo! Congratulations! Girlfriend is fucking out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> the polite thing to do would, would be to body check both of the mid hug. <laughs> Starman says, sometimes I accidentally do a considerate act to the Mike Bachman story. Hell yeah. Starman says, I love MST3K. Same to you, my friend. Misty's stand up. Rise up. Get that last episode of Season Zero out there, please. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> MST3K rules. The chat is going bonkers. Yes. Yes, friends. It certainly does. <laughs> You can win at Tetris, or you could give a Gundam his arm back. What are you going to do, you heartless wow. monster? Yeah, what a moral quandary. Is the implication that the robot would be sad if you got a Tetris? Because that's like breaking the bro code. <laughs> you either X out of the window or click on the animal's fucking. It's <laughs> your two options. I mean, easy choice. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. That was hard because it's a stage light. Oh, right, right, right. I like that you closed that after it showed you like a rude picture. <laughs> Fuck out of here. We're going to learn our, uh, our, our decor from the insult game. Absolutely. It's been a while since I played this, but I, I remember liking it a lot. Insult your CPU or insult a human? I mean, there's only one human in that room, right? Unless we have to insult each other. It's true. Oh, hi there. It's John Shufflebottom here. So, okay, so that was the thing. Each character has certain things that are, um, that they are more sensitive towards. So, like, he's really into style. So if you insult what he's wearing, it's going to do more damage to him. Oh, sweet. Oh. Stage select is kind of blowing my mind a bit. <laughs> Excuse me, I believe this is my seat. Your seat? Does it have your name on it? I don't think so, but I have a ticket. First class, eh? You don't look like a first class to me. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So you've got cards that you can use, and then there's also stuff from the middle, but if I choose something from the middle, mm. then they choose something, and we're, we're battling for the same options. Gotcha. Your seat looks like a fam. Oh, okay, so even if it doesn't make sense, like structurally, it'll make the yes. sentence work. Yeah, your opponent's insult is like uh, bad, not good. 
<laughs> Your seat looks like a cheese shop and is not interesting. <laughs> I, I actually, I'm really upset that he used your country because I was going to say, and you secretly adore your country. You're a patriot. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Bullying someone for being a proud patriot would be awesome. Your seat looks like a cheese shop. Your seat is, looks like a cheese shop, you and you are not interesting. interesting. This train was defeated by your country. This train was defeated. I don't think I'd be insulted by that. Mm. I mean. Mm. Oh, you start with you and not your mother? Oh, no. He started with you. You yeah. gotta take your mother. Yeah, that's the. You know, that's a, a simple uppercut across the jaw. Your mother bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> you are your seat. You in it? <laughs> your seat in it. <laughs> oh, oh, your mother got me. bothers me. And I have proof. <laughs> I have proof that I hate your mom. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, your father. That's not bad, right? Hmm. Starman says first bit of connection issues for me tonight. Drink, drink up, folks. Your father wanted to be. Silly. <laughs> your father wanted to be your math teacher. What? Uh, what's a steaming round? Okay. Oh, you have to end it after a certain point in time, like well, for it to be logical. There's nothing else that I can say that like grammatically makes sense. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, hey, Penny. What? Your father wanted to be Got a second your cat math teacher that. tonight. Oh, and he was able to delay so that he can keep adding on to it with the mm. next. Uh, Poses nude for is a hell of a thing to be thrown in there. <laughs> Your son? Poses nude for? Your father. <laughs> what the fuck? And is no more. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> your son poses nude for your father and is no more. <laughs> so he's sensitive about his dad. So I got times two. Ooh. And you got a rude you combo. And your cousin's car. Like your cousin's your car wife. act like your wife. Ooh. I'm sorry, man. That's like sub Facebook insult. What are the L and the R? Uh, those are like two that like that just i have so he can't take those oh gotcha gotcha but i can throw them in whenever i want and the coffee button mm. uh that is that's to delay gotcha okay your father is like Four or five wits said your father acts like a cider drinking chav. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And is silly. Right? That has to be the answer. Your father's a. Hold on. Secret oh, secretly adores. Your sister was born in your hat. Secretly adores cockwomble. So I'm delaying till the next turn Your so that I have more gotcha. options that I can just keep streaming. Style down. Rude. 16 points. Oh, okay. That's apparently not what that meant. What? Or because it was... Because, hmm. uh, maybe it was because he... Uh, uh, because he insulted my weakness. <laughs> it may have broken my concentration. Death by Kitten said he secretly adores you, you cheeky bastard. That's true. Oh. You should just share a seat. Ow. Your husband. Is. <laughs> Mm 
Hmm. Oh, Waters Rush says, if you delay but they hit a weakness, you lose your insult. Look like your face. Yeah, so I just lost it again. Oh. Hmm. Your husband is your husband. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, you have an and on the L as well. Your beloved auntie wanted to be... Your husband is your husband and doesn't own a color telly. I I do think it's funny that like as these build up they just look like like time cube posts they make no <laughs> sense. It's like your favorite bond actor acts like <laughs> you beloved auntie want it to be this train or is it about the way I talk? Oh. Oh. How did you... I'm not a first class myself. <sighs> I just wanted to see how it felt. Waters Rush says it may not be specifically tied to weakness, though. If I remember correctly, if there's does enough damage, it'll break concentration. Okay, that makes sense. I can see that being pretty fun in multiplayer. Yeah, for sure. Doing back and forth sees. Alright. Fight Cade is in. I'm assuming that this is going to be my... Hey, look at me getting into Fight Cade first try. No fucking way. You did Absolutely. that, Chad? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, what's the name Waters of this video game? Daraku Tenshi, The Fallen Angels. You can find it if you search for Fallen Angels. I see a Mike Botman, sir. You sure do. Sir? Is that you, sir? Mike Bachman himself? So, do the people in chat know what Fight Cade is? We've done Fight Cade before, right? I'm pretty sure we have. I think so. Oh, my controller is dying. Cool. <laughs> oh, this is going to be questionable. Okay, I need to figure out how to change what monitor it opens on, though. Are you getting it all set up? You good to go? Yeah, it seems to be all good to go, um, but I don't know how to get it to not open on my top. Oh, there it is. I got it now. Oh, you got it? Okay, okay, yeah. cool. Input, map game input. So this is also an unfinished fighting game. But in this case, it's, I think it's less finished than Primal Rage 2. Oh, is this a four button? Mm-hmm. Okay. What interesting about this game is that the developers, even though this game is unfinished, would go on to work on the King of Fighters. So a lot of mechanics for some later KOF games can be found in here. Did you want to go versus or are you just gonna dink around with it? Uh let me well let me get it on the screen first and then we can Oh yeah, yeah. We can go versus. Okay, cool. Uh, you have to, like, allow challenging, right? Wait, maybe? I don't remember how. <laughs> I can challenge you, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't know why I said I'm not available, but... Yeah, whatever. Alright, hold on a 
second. There we go. Four or five foot says I'm terrible at KOF. Waters Rush says my experience with KOF is limited to dicking around in KOF 13 combo trials. Oh, you must hate KOF again. Those those combo trials are for sadists. Um, I love KOF. I've been playing it for 20 years. KOF 98 poster on the wall behind me. I, I just really like it. Um, the new game is a great place to, to learn, though. Oh, that audio is bad. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't, I think that's the ROM itself. I don't know if that's necessarily just a rough and murder. Okay, let me open up the mixer. Like, is it, it's real, like, fuzzy and choppy for you, too? I can't hear mine, I can hear mine, so I can just hear you instead. Okay, yeah, I, I just turned mine off. This character's name is cool. Here comes the new challenger. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Harry, Harry Ness. Ness. <laughs> <laughs> I do like, I think this game has a cool, unique look to it. Um, but it's, it's like grimier than KOF. Oh, yeah. Chubby, chubby little Frankenstein grappler. He's got a tiny cat, which is great. Is that just fightcade lag, or is that how it runs? It doesn't run like this normally. This must be a fightcade issue. Or, like, maybe an emulation issue with Final Burn, but, like, usually they don't let stuff that runs this poorly on fightcade. I guess the best way to know is to try a different game, right? I mean. Yeah. It does seem like super laggy on my end though. Like it's not just a connection issue. I'm getting input delay and Well let me try let me try going into it solo. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Let me just crash it out, then you can dink around with it. Waterstar says, I never got through too many of them, but Leona and Kim are sick characters, so I enjoyed my time with it. Good taste, my friend. Good taste. Uh, I mean, I love Kim. Leona is wonderful. Leona is what people wish Guile was. Uh, how how Guile works. Here we go, baby. It seems yeah. to be already running better for you. Yeah, much better. Oh, I like that. What's up? <laughs> this... Ooh, the big kick. Pretty sweet. I just realized I have like 17 different programs open. That might help. Waters Rest says, I think Leona is how people wish Nash was. True, true. Not in five, though. Different, different game. Big punch? Is the audio any better now? Uh, let me try it. Yeah, much better. It seems like it's really running not great on my end, so that might be a part of it. Oh, are you running in solo too? That's not good. Yeah, it's 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 pretty delayed. Uh, weird enough, there is a training mode with hitboxes, which is pretty fun. Yeah, I'm gonna run like this. That's pretty loud. I'm gonna try wind jammers and see if I have the same problem. Dando 
I love how Taro has the has the cat that rides on his shoulder. It's pretty great. Waters Rush says, really, maybe I'm off, but I feel like people would rather Nash and Five work more like Leona. That's probably true. Having a few more like projectile options would be good. Um, I mean, Nash does feel pretty good in Five, though. I just kind of like that the, the mix-up game. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sluggish on my end, so there must be some sort of issue with my graphics card or something. You know what? Like Nash and Five could use a projectile mix-up, and Leona has those times ten. So I I don't think you're wrong either. The big somersault kick is really good. Yeah, I like that. That's just his like forward heavy kick. Oh really? Yeah. That's sweet. The animation's really nice. The little back and forth arm pump, good stuff. Oh, hell yeah. I like the back background blur when a super gets thrown. That's a that's pretty clever. Now that drop kick seems pretty good, man. Yeah, I don't hate this. It's no, tough. feels good. <laughs> It's developed by Saikyo, who uh, folks might know as being a pretty serious shoot 'em up developer. Um, they're still around, you can get a Psycho Classics collection out there on the Switch. But, like, shooters aren't really made to the frequency that they used to be. Starman says, I do love Bachman's concentration base. He's in the zone, baby. Ooh. Oh, Cut up, god damn it. I'm glad I turned the audio back on. Those, like, neck snapping noises were amazing. <laughs> like, he's dead. He's a dead man. This background is wonderful, by the way. Very third strike. Which does really seem to be the inspiration here. Water's Rush says those crunching effects are pretty good. Agreed. Oh, finally got with the little poke. So how would you describe this? This one's like a little slower than Primal Rage, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Feel mushy, or does it feel pretty responsive? Um, it feels a little mushy to me. Like, I think... I think it just needs a little more time in the oven, but it's... It's more... It's, it's uh, tighter than Primal Rage, for sure. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I like the, the kick into the uppercut there, that was sweet. Oh my god. The life meter that that does. Like, that was half a meter. And she's already got super again. Oh, the animation on that is really nice, though. <laughs> Kitty mirror match. <laughs> yeah, 
the animation reminds me of King's F3 and 4 dropkick in Tekken. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Big round axe kick, that was sweet. That is, yeah, that is very, very King, actually. Does he just, like, fling sweat off his fingers? I don't know if I'd appreciate that in Flight Company. It's <laughs> just like, you were so wet you could miss me? No thanks. This game may be doing interesting things with mechanics and graphics, but let's be real. That's a great end seam on those jeans. They put a lot of effort into those jeans. <laughs> Come on. That was pure shit. Starman says, Yurio, you have and then changed to bit. Gotta love a good win quote, folks. Not so. You're kind of carving things up with this dude. Stop <laughs> A plus. Uh, yes, four or five wits. We're playing with uh, computers because we had some issues getting the uh, verses to run. Watersource says, you can kind of see that these are the people that eventually made Kim's KOF 13 pants. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is true. Ooh. Holy shit. That was nasty. It does so much damage, too. I think, I think that's the only movie he's hit me with, just three times. <laughs> it looks unblockable. Like, what the hell? I miss those pants here. I miss them too. They're like shiny on the, the cuff level. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm just watching because it's like this is not not an unfun game to watch. That is just straight up Galactica Phantom from KOF. Much respect. For ripping it off wholesale. <laughs> Jesus! That is so wild. Oh. 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 What has won us every game tonight, Mike? Low poke. <laughs> every time. Waters Rush it says, at least in the 2D space, but honestly, most 3D games still can't hold a candle. I would agree with that. I feel like 3D 3D technology has led to us really uh, designing fewer cool jackets and pants. Everyone's wearing realistic jackets and pants now. That's no fun. Like, I like KOF at 15, but it's not like the pants technology is out of this world or anything. I really hate the AI for this dude. It's just turtling to people get that punch. And the punch is, like, brutal. It's like playing a Mugen character. Okay, that should not be a free overhead. Like, that is bullshit. Yeah. Four or five wit says that's why Guilty Gear Strive's art style rules. Yeah, I can't disagree with that. I've still never played Strive, but I respect it. Roche is like okay. He's got a bit of an Elena idol animation, just like too many frames. It makes you uncomfortable to watch. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> He's like super armored through it, too. That's so ridiculous. Water Dress says, I was re referring to the way the fabric behaves as opposed to the clothing design. Oh, I hear ya. I think it's, I think that they're, they're kind of the same thing. There used to be a lot of focus on clothing and making it look aesthetically interesting, and now it just exists. 
Yeah, that's kind of um, ruining it for me. Holy shit. But yeah, the sh pant shimmer? Beautiful. Starman says I've been saving up for some Jinko jeans. Wow. Jinkos are back in right now, right? Like, I see people wearing Jinkos. That's, that's wild. I was like in middle school, high school age for the the growth of Jinkos in it. Left a lot of scars. You can't even like jump out like back from that? Maybe part of this game being undone is this character's move list being completely busto. Low poke, low poke, low poke. <laughs> Let's see if we can beat this dude using only low pokes. Nope, I can't. It's like they based a fighting game character on Crispin Glover. Starman says they are expensive. Oh, they yeah, they are hell expensive. Getting super armor to that is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, that's absurd. Watershar says, I recognize Roche from a video I think J.M. Crofts did. Either him or Lord Knight might have been a collab. I've seen a lot of J.M. Crofts videos, actually. That's a that's a fun little YouTube channel. <laughs> Watershar says, Roche has a busted super. Yeah, you gotta fight fire with fire. It didn't surprise me to figure out what that attack is, so... Oh, there it is. Did he just sidestep it? Never mind. <laughs> Starman says, Jinko, the bell bottoms of the 90s. It was really funny. You had like a lot of people just dressing in raver clothes to hang out. So it's depending on how long you charge it, it does more damage. Oh, gotcha. But it still does way too much. <laughs> Not when you're using it. When you're using it, it's good and normal. He's doing something like a dash or something to get through that. Yeah, he's like sidestepping into the background. I can tell you exactly why I stopped wearing Jinko. Um, getting a cuffs caught in a bike chain is is like a worst case scenario. It's it's a bad situation. To this. Low po oh, it didn't even couldn't even low poke your way out of it. Jeez. I also like that, like, because of color palette limitations, this guy absolutely has a flesh-colored zipper. And it's doing the old CPU knows exactly when you let go of the button trick. Yep. Although, to be fair, it doesn't seem to, like, be able to punish you in any way. <laughs> He's doing some kind of sliding around. Something. Yakuza kick into short punch. That's brutal. Not gonna lie. I don't like it. <laughs> Let me see if I can, like, look up that sidestep right quick. This dude totally has Brian Fury's jet oh, upper. Oh, did you That's... see what just happened? That was nuts. 
Was that that was you? That was both of us doing that move at the same time. It just something happened with the hitboxes where it just hit a million times for both of us. <laughs> That's awesome. Squilly Man says slide to the left. We have to figure out how to slide first. Because we definitely don't know how to do that. Slide to the left. Slide, slide to the right. right. Do the Charlie Brown. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. That's all the high school dance songs. You have a super jump. You can escape by pressing both punches at the same time. Pressing t heavy punch and heavy kick changes your stance? And pressing the two kicks will charge your knee. Starman says, I have one pair of Jinko jeans. They're my favorite. The leg on one side was ripped to where I was wearing a ripped skirt and refused to stop wearing them until my mother lost them in the wash. A lot of proud Jinkos have gone down due to mom's not understanding. Parents just simply not understanding the importance of large pants. Who could forget the classic Will Smith song, Parents Simply Don't Understand? <laughs> <laughs> Long pants. You know, the real beauty is getting Jinkos and imagining like having to cut them into shorts and they're still like three feet hanging off your legs. You need some wide shorts for the summer, folks. Baby culottes. Was that just a double down to forward? Yeah. Oh wow, he's actually cracking you up with stuff that isn't the Broken Punch special. Uh-huh. Cool. Did you figure out the uh, evasion yet? Yeah, it doesn't seem to do me as much good as it does him. <laughs> Juggle? Oh, do you get to spam alts when you're in red, maybe? But that little short dash punch seems okay. This guy's just shit talking to you crazy style. What time we ran out on this one? Yeah. I <laughs> mean, you're starting from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Starman says, my favorite part were how big the pockets were. I could fit so many books in my pockets when I were in Jinkos. That's true. That's true. Big big underrated part of Jinkos, they could fit an entire CD Walkman in one pocket, and then like a little sleeve of CDs in the other one. And that's the entirety of my middle school years. <laughs> so so does, that act does that actually feel good when you get to do it? I mean, not when they just stand there and prepare to eat it. Oh, he did definitely do that, though. Okay, well, they paid, paid you back on that one. That little, like, step punch seems really good. 
I do have to admit, seeing the giant explosion of blood is very satisfying. <laughs> this guy kind of dresses like young Drill. Like a 20-year-old Drill. Oh, for sure. German suplex, let's go. Waters Rush says I can't stop seeing Brian's jet upper. Pretty sure Tekken 2 came up before yeah, this. Kick. Definitely. The big yeah, the big Yakuza kick. That's sweet. Death by Kitten says, gotta head to bed. Good night. Oh, got this Bachman, get that vengeance. Hell yeah. Thanks for coming. Hell yeah. Nice to see ya. Sleep tight. This is like the last, uh, last stream in our unreleased series that we've uh, put together, so we're gonna have to like come up with something different next week. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, that kick in the table was sweet, though. Oh, fuck. Um, I don't know, do you want to do Battle for the Grid next week, maybe? Yeah, we could do that, or Dragon. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do Dragon, that sounds fun. <laughs> and it screen clears? That's so sweet. <laughs> like, you push her back to the edge. Oh, is that a command grapple? Oh, okay. Meaty low kick on that one. <laughs> yes, please let me expose myself to your assault. <laughs> Oh god. Brutal, you're like you like kicked over to get the difficulty reset and you still got hurt. Yeah, this game's rough. World smelliest Shoto, let's go, baby. More fighting game characters should have visible hygiene issues. How does he play? Like, I can't even really tell from the clips. Uh, fine. I haven't really figured out how any of his stuff strings together. He looks like, a like, Makoto's long-lost father who lives in a compost heap. He's very pokey. Jesus. Getting just washed, bro. That's brutal. You, 
I might, yeah, I might enjoy this against another person, but the CPU is just uh, pretty. It's just killing it for him. Yeah. No, no. Starman says, "Bad news. I'm down to the green M&Ms, and you know what that means. I don't. Is that like a horny thing? People are horny for the green M&M, right?" Well, not Tucker Carlson. No, <laughs> that's right. He's very upset about about the M&Ms. Well, folks. I am desperately trying to find a move list for this guy. <laughs> he says I'm also off, everyone. Enjoy. See ya. Have a good night, Eve. Thanks for swinging by. Oh, you for the dodge, you can hold the dodge buttons in place and stay dodged. Like it's a it's an active state. Okay. This background is fucking awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. It says down to back kick might be good here. Um, down to back kick seems oh. to do nothing. Maybe down to forward kick? Oh, there you go. Down to back punch, or down to forward punch, then maybe. And there's a a pair, a parry. Oh my God, he's just power bombing you to death. Oh, that's sick. Okay, it's like these characters only have two different moves anyway. Starman said the green ones were said to have been made with a food dye that increases libido. So that's why everybody's horny for the M&Ms. Also, I guess they made the green M&M like the horny one in the commercials. That's probably a part of it. Why are they horny? That dodge is actually pretty sick, though. Yeah. It doesn't get you out of grabs, but... I like that counter- Oh my gosh, nope, sorry. You're getting ward load to death. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm out on this one, I think. <laughs> and calling it? Yeah. Well, the only other thing I had lined up... I mean, those are the only three I had lined up, basically. The last one was Marble Madness 2, but it turns out that one's a headache to get running. So. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. What's the scoop with it? What do you have to do? Um, I don't know, like a specific version of MAME or something. Gotcha. But it's, um... It's also not that incredible. It's like a much worse version of Marble Madness. <laughs> <laughs> So like, you turn it on, you're like, wow, this is definitely a new Marble Madness. And you play it for five minutes and you're like, this stinks. This is, <laughs> this is not great. I'm curious if I've got a save for Dragon. Like, I don't actually want to play it right now. I just want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do Dragon next week. That sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm into it. Do I, do I have you friended on Switch? I don't even remember. Uh... Well, I think we played, we played Smash for a minute. I think oh, so. I probably let, there we go. We got a save. Let's go, baby. Oh, they have six character classes now. Oh, yeah. Great. This game is basically um, 2D Monster Hunter made by Intercreates. So, if y'all are into that, <laughs> highly recommend it. I think this game's pretty cool. All right, cool. Well, do you think we should oh, call it for tonight? Yeah, let's let's hit the road, Jack. Thank you for having us on the Geek League channel. We've had a it's been a pleasure talking to you all the night and getting to see some new faces. Yep. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Uh we will be back next week probably in the uh that'll be in the same place that we normally are. Uh at uh, twitch.tv slash game crimes. It'll be about ten PM Central. Are we gonna be doing around the normal time or are we gonna kick earlier like we have recently? It'll be the normal time. 
Okay, yeah, so we'll see you. A... Weird streams on Geekly, so we've been able to do a little earlier, but. Gotcha. So 11 EST, 10 CST next week. Catch you later, folks. Uh, Callan Waters Rush. Peace. See ya.